a great adventure, right? So basically, one of the common aspects of Parkinson's is falling down. I fell down so many times, I can add it to my hobbies, writing, reading, <laughs> falling down, kind of thing. So when I came this, uh, this evening, my friend Charanya, Samita and Jain, they brought me. And uh, I'll start with a pop quiz. I was standing and waiting for the car to pull up. What do you call a Parkinson's person waiting for someone to pick them up? What do you call them? Show off. <laughs> right? I mean, what does he think? You will not fall down? Like that. <laughs> so, what is he thinking? So much. So, basically, uh, in my right now, I'm uh, operating two brain surgeries, the electrodes. That means there are sparks in there. I don't, nobody has to shock me. I will shock myself. <laughs> right? So, basically, uh, that's why I call it, I get sparks all the time. So, I call Parkinson's as Parkinson's. <laughs> that way, it's more positive spin there. Right? So, uh, today afternoon, my friend Anil, uh, who is also an entrepreneur, he called me for a meeting and he has never given me a book. Can you imagine what book he gave me? Let me show it to you. The Art of Stillness. <laughs> and then, he says, Adventures in Going Nowhere. Now, I did ask him, is there a special message he wants to pass it on? He said, no, 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 it's a really good book, I know. But the title says it all. And I'm Parkinson's. Adventures, I'm going to comedy show. I'm not going nowhere. I'm going somewhere. So the whole thing about words and phrases has changed. The meanings have changed for me. I've chosen some words to tell you what it means. Like one word is nose dive. Does anybody know what is nose dive? Oh, it's an airplane suddenly falling vertically down like MH370. Unfortunately, it happened. But not for me. In Parkinson's uh, for people, for anybody like me, uh, I mean, let's say there is a plate here, a foot plate, it's like diving my nose to the foot plate like this. Because you know, you lose your strength and then you don't know what to do. So I always uh, keep on diving, diving and then uh, that's the inclusivity has a different meaning. Because uh, when you take the food to eat, I include my shirt, pant, uh, socks, everything. <laughs> it's why only mouth, right? <laughs> Everybody has to be included. And then push-ups. Does anybody know what is push-ups? Part of your fit here. So basically, you just uh, lie down and then uh, without uh, bending your back, you push up and down. Not for me. It's very different. For me, once you once you do the nose dive, I lose strength. And I have to ask Charanya or somebody to come push me up, push me up kind of. <laughs> because until that time, I can't do anything. Right? So that's what uh, happens in a Parkinson's patient's life. And then what about strong ties? Does anybody know what the strong ties means? Deep friendship, bond with uh, family members, friends, or even a mutual alliance between two companies? Not for me. Because, you know, even family members, Kavita and Sumuk, God bless them, they are very nice people. But after some time, how many times will they push me up? They go to the gym for their workout, not to push their husband and uh, bra father. So what, what she did, she when uh, the chair, she would tie me on both sides, strong ties. <laughs> 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 When they are when they were watching movie or something, they don't have to worry about pushing me up. Strong ties. Right? So, basically everything is different and it's fun. Now I look back, it's really, really fun. Anybody know what is fine print? Like anything that is not fine, they print in small letters. That's what fine print is. <laughs> but in, uh, in Parkinson's case, the fine print looks like this. One of the medicines, I was, ta I was taking 18 of them. And what are the side effects of the medicine? It's like this. Looks like a Stephen King's horror movie. <laughs> like it's a, so a doctor asked me every time I went visiting, he asked, do you have any depression? I said, no, I don't even read the fine print. <laughs> no depression for me. I am like a cat eating, drinking milk without looking at anything. I just pop pills. Right? So basically, what about whistleblower? Does anybody know what whistleblower is? Yes, what is it? <laughs> I know, right? See, see again, I said whistleblower and she gave, the, she, she twisted the meaning. But whistleblower means simple. Whistleblower, like this. Why? Because you lose strength in the later stages of the disease, you can't speak. When you want to, you are stuck in a, on the bed or something, you can only blow the whistle. Whistleblower means blowing the whistle, that's all. There's no different meaning. 
right? What about staircase? Does anyone know what does staircase mean? Set of stairs, right, to walk and down. Not for a Parkinson's person because uh, you, you lose balance. So, a staircase means for me a case of staring at the steps. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> Just wait. So, not everything is, every, every cloud has a silver lining, black cloud has a silver lining. See, in some cases, I was thinking in the later stages of the, the progression of the disease, I was thinking I need to be, I was like a vegetable. And then I am supposed to be the head of the houseboat, being, being a vegetable is not good. So I said, I need to be of some value to the family so that I can also have some earning power. Then I thought there is some unique strength the Parkinson's people have that nobody has. I have to use it. What is it? I know enough Parkinson's people, birds of the same feather flock together, right? So why don't I band together with four or five people and go to the construction sites and offer to mix concrete? <laughs> Simple, no, you just hold it and then it checks by itself. <laughs> right? That's one. And then I thought, if that is not there, I, I'm a teetotaler. I never even sipped a glass of uh, alcohol, sip of alcohol, but that should not stop me from being a good uh, cocktail mixer. <laughs> what will it do? You just hold it and it mixes itself. If that is not good, then I thought I can go to the bakery, and then they just have to give me a glass of milk and take it back after one minute. It'd be a good milkshake, <laughs> isn't it? Then I thought I need, I started, to, my mind was imaginative, it was going all over the place. I was thinking, what about having a value added service in a pharmacy? Like in a pharmacy, people buy medicine, they don't need instructions, right? So in many bottles, it will say shake well before use. It's easy, shake and well before use as a service. <laughs> <AP enabled. laughs> so then I thought, um, Say, I'm thinking too, too much of thinking. Like every company needs movers and shakers, isn't it? I can go and apply for that and say, you meet half the requirements. <laughs> and then I can get two jobs and I get full salary. Now, some of engineers are thinking this logic is mixing. It's not a Mensa exam, it's a comedy show. Don't look for logic. And finally, I thought of something that uh, is unique strength from a past and the present. What is it? I write books, I've written 18 books. Then I told Kavita, that was uh, before Parkinson's that was. And then now I said, uh, but none of them have sold 100,000 copies or even uh, anything close to that. I said, but I have an opportunity now. I asked Kavita to buy me a spear so that I can become Shakespeare. <laughs> Simple, no? So basically, you know, you all are smart people here. You know the value of walking the extra mile. I'm here to shaking to bring an extra smile. Thank you very much.